Hi everybody, it's Philip Wade here. I uh, just wanted to talk a little bit today about self-care because the 24th of July is International Self-Care Day. I uh, just wanted to share with you, do you know what the highest form of self-care is? It's silence. Yeah, silence. So why silence? Well, you only really have to look at how we're operating our lives around the globe at the moment. There's so much busyness, so much activity, and so much noise, and very little silence. And look where all of that busyness, activity, and listening to what's going on in our minds has got us. Yeah. It doesn't take much of a look for us, for us to see that um, there's some pretty challenging times with us at the moment, uh, but generally around the world. And that's been accentuated, of course, with the situation with COVID-19. And if there's one thing that that's brought us, is accentuated, obviously, a lot of suffering that was already there, but is now actually on the surface. Uh, for all to see and yet also one of the things that it's brought for many perhaps not everybody especially if you're a key worker is the opportunity to stop and to look and to listen and pay attention more to the source of life itself and ultimately where will we find that silence well, actually, really, we already know the answer to that. And it's actually in the silence of our hearts. Within the heart is a stillness and silence an awareness that's so profound and so deep that if we just took the time to pay attention to it, it could change our lives. And really, that's what meditation is all about, silence. It's about recognizing the infinite awareness of the infinite silence within us. You know that old Zen saying that we should meditate for an hour every day. And if you've got a very busy day, meditate for two. And to the mind, this doesn't make any sense because it's forever thinking that there's something much more important to do than sit down, doing nothing, meditating. And I'll come up with endless lists and meditation can wait until tomorrow or the next day or the next day. And it'll keep on waiting until we're so stressed out by life that um, we get into disease or dis-ease. So the purpose of that Zen saying is really to invite you into stillness, into silence. And in doing that, and if you were to sit down for two hours of quality meditation, actually you'd find that your priorities would change dramatically and you'd be making higher life choices. And those things that you thought were important, actually you would find to start dropping out of your life. So meditation is going to bring you to that place and the ultimate meditation is indeed silence. It's about awareness. It's not about stilling the mind. It's about recognizing an awareness, a stillness and a silence that's already inside within us. And that will naturally lead to a stilling of what we call the mind. Actually, it can lead to a complete cessation of thought. And in that space, inspired awareness, inspired action will follow. And we'll be making much higher choices in our lives from a place of deeper awareness. And meditation isn't just about sitting down in the lotus position in a cave in the Himalayas somewhere either. It's about recognizing the awareness that's here now. And it can be a walk in the forest. It can be a meditative preparation of a meal. It can be listening to music as well. As long as there's that stillness there, that's meditation. So I want you to encourage you to meditate today and not only today, but every day and recognize 
to the deeper awareness that's inside and you will see not because I have said so that actually silence is the highest form of self-care and it also will ultimately lead to spiritual self-realization. Namaste everybody, have a beautiful day of stillness and silence.